Most people who accuse you of leading a cult say that the world's religions are not cults, but real religious organisations. What would you say to that? Well, firstly, if we look at what I placed on the internet under the frequently asked questions about what I believe a cult to be, many of the world's religions would actually come under that definition. Secondly, I do not believe attacking people and calling things cults is actually the way to address any of those issues. So I, I feel quite strongly that we need to love every single person on this planet, no matter what their religious, cultural, social, sexual or other backgrounds are. So I, I personally cannot see how any individual on this planet can attack another individual on the planet without there being some kind of substance to the attack. And even then, there's no need to attack. There's just a need to state the truth. So when it comes to the world's religions, it is interesting that many of the current world religions, when they first became established, were viewed as cults by the present religions at the time. And yet many of these religions then became to be established religions. And then after that point in time, the people then accepted them and therefore no longer called them a cult. It appears to me that almost any new movement on the planet is treated with suspicion, sometimes initially laughter, then suspicion, then violence, and then acceptance when we could skip over the laughter, the suspicion and the violence and go straight to acceptance. And I feel this is what uh, most people on the planet need to do with any new thing that occurs on the planet. We need to go straight to acceptance. We need to say to ourselves, okay, this particular movement, whatever it is, whether it's even evil or not, this particular movement has been created. We need to accept it's being created and then we need to ask ourselves questions about whether its creation was what it was what caused its creation. Now, in some cases, what is caused what has caused its creation is a dissatisfaction with the current particular movements on the planet. So, for example, a new political party often gets set up on the planet when there is a dissatisfaction with the old political parties in a certain governmental system. A new religious movement often gets set up on the planet when there is a dissatisfaction with the old religious movements on the planet. Every time someone is dissatisfied with something, generally something new gets created. I don't believe that is a necessarily a negative thing. It is something that is a fact of life, that every time there is dissatisfaction, something new generally happens. What I do see as a negative thing is when the new thing being created is created out of violence, or it's created to perpetrate violence. These are the things I would be more concerned about if I was a person examining what I am teaching. What I would be concerned about if I was, if I was a listener is, am, is A.J. Miller, who claims to be Jesus, teaching violence or preaching violence? Is he being abusive? Is he being controlling, manipulative? Is he looking for power? Is he looking for glory? Or is he just stating that he's Jesus and then stating a heap of other things that he believes to be true also? That's the question that you need to ask. I know what I'm doing. I am just stating what I know to be the truth. Whether you believe that it's the truth or not is up to you. I don't condemn you if you don't. I'm just stating what I know to be the truth. If I don't know it, I say, I don't know which is also something not many other people do. But if I do know it, I will say that I feel I know it. And I will state that I feel I know it. But you don't have to believe me. And I, my suggestion is, you go through your own emotional experience to determine what is truth and what is not. Go through your own experience with God to determine what is God's love and what is not. Go through your own experience with other people to determine what is loving and what is not. In your day-to-day -day life, examine through your own experience what is ethical and what is not. I believe I do know what those things are, but I am also open to being shown that I don't. And, and if a person is truly humble, they will also be open to that. 
I feel quite strongly that if we do those particular things, we'll never need to fear whether there is another religious movement on the planet that is a cult. We'll never need to worry about what's happened historically or what's being produced even right now. We will always be examining ourselves to become more loving. That's all we need to do. So I believe that the world's religious organisations need to do that. What they need to do is examine whether their behaviour is ethical. They need to do, examine whether their behaviour is loving. They need to examine whether their beliefs about God are loving. They need to examine whether their beliefs about people on earth, other people who are not a part of their faith, are loving. If they examine these things more carefully and with an open and honest heart, they would automatically know what to do with their belief systems and their way of life and the way in which they govern their organisations. The problem is most religions on the planet are not doing that. Most religions on the planet have a very fixed opinion of what is true and they are willing to kill other people who disagree. And this is something very much out of harmony with love. It perpetrates more violence on the planet and therefore is far more damaging than anything I have ever taught. 